day. Guys, it might seem as though we've already got our first female rivalry of the season. Now, I know it might sound too early, yes, but remember that nothing, absolutely nothing, is too early in Big Brother's house. Because last night, guys, last night was a lot. <laughs> in fact, there was a lot of first last night. There was the first truth or dare game of the season that happened last night. It was, it came in the form of um, spinning the bottle, yes, and there was also truth or dare attached to it, yes. So that happened. The first kisses of the season also happened. <laughs> and then there was a very, very intense conversation between young Papi and Z. And then there was Sinai at some point, you know, included in their conversation. And then there was Papa Ghost included in their conversation as well. And then there was also Mpumi that had a lot to say about a certain housemates and housemates who were not really, you know, giving her that positive vibe that she was looking forward to experiencing in Big Brother's house. Ladies and gentlemen, the conversations have begun and we're going to talk about all of it on this video because certain fan bases decided to wake up <laughs> or should i say resume duty last night so there was a lot that was said on the show and off the show and we're going to talk about all of it on this particular episode of frankly speaking with gloria elijah now there was another conversation more like a meeting that happened amongst the housemates i think i'm going to be doing another video to share more about that or if there's more time on this video i will you know share more about that on this particular video right but in the meantime go ahead watch this video to the end do not skip out on any part otherwise you're gonna miss out on the juicy tea all right and of course i would love to hear your thoughts about it all in the comment section below i know you can't wait to hear all of this juicy tea but before we get into it let me officially welcome all of you back to my youtube channel you are all specially welcome back my name is gloria elijah this is frankly speaking with Gloria Elijah and I am the girl with the tea. For those of you that are new subscribers, thank you so much for choosing to become a part of this community. Um, if you are yet to subscribe, please do not hesitate to do exactly what you see on your screen, all right? Um, if you're still undecided, hey, don't think about it anymore, all right? Especially if you're looking for that space where you can get the most detailed factual and accurate analysis of reality tv shows okay and if you're also looking for that space where you can get daily scoops about the ongoing big brother and zamzi season four show this is where you will get daily feeds of the show all right so make sure you subscribe and for my OGs, for my returnees, thank you all so much for choosing to come back, all right? Now, all of that said, let's just quickly get into the business of this video. So last night was quite intense in Big Brother's house. We know what happens in Biggie's house um, after every nomination process. In fact, before and after every nomination process, there's always tension, yeah? There's always tension. People make the most move to um, connect to relate, to have conversations with housemates that they had never even considered having such conversations with. And the situation in Biggie's house yesterday was no different from what I just explained. Yes, people tried to have conversations with people. Mm -hmm. People tried to feign, um, should I say, genuine connections. But we already know that there are those that have already found their people. There are those that have already gravitated towards their own kin, yes? And it sort of caused more tension in the house. And then there was the head of house games. Um, there was the head of house's um, choice about who to choose as a guest to the head of house lounge. So there was quite some tension here and there. And um, because Big Brother had put up everybody for possible eviction, um, with the exception of those that already um, won or earned their immunity, there was a lot of rallying around, you know, to create content, which is quite typical of every Monday in Big Brother's house. So people were trying to have conversations, but there were others that were kind of irritated already by things that were already happening in the house. Speaking of those who already 
um, built connections in the house. As a matter of fact, there's a level of bonding that's already happened between or amongst these set of people. And in as much as I am tempted to call some of these connections a potential ship, I will not. Yeah, because you all know that I'm not really keen on seeing ships this season. But it seems like that is what it is. There is um, Liema and Jari. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there is Liema and Jari. And these two people actually had their moment yesterday evening. Yeah. Now, there were a lot of events that happened yesterday evening before their moment, but they seemed to be getting really cozied into each other's company. They seemed to be getting really comfortable with each other. There was a moment of hugging, you know, from behind. And then during the truth or dare game, they had shared a kiss. Now, it wasn't particularly your typical type of French kiss, but it had seemed romantic enough. Now, there was also Else. Ladies and gentlemen, all through yesterday, Else had been given the energy of, hey, I'm here for the game. I'm here for the vibe. I'm here for anything, but don't cross my boundaries. Yes. And so yesterday, she and um, Taki had been dared to kiss, and they had kissed. And ladies and gentlemen, that was actually a typical French kiss. 11, 10, 5, 8, 7, 6, 5, but in the light of all the raunchy that's happening during the truth or dare game there were certain people that were not really comfortable about it all there was um young papi and there was also z now z's case was quite different has was involved with mpumi's expression or should i say purgation of her own emotions about z's um, behavior towards her and that stuff did not sit well with Z. Now, before the truth or dare game, this is what had happened. It was after the live nomination process. Yes, all the housemates had been shocked. I mean, I told you all in my previous video about how Big Brother had given us a shocker, you know, with how the nomination process had, you know, gone. And the house was sort of tensioned. Yes, the house was tensioned, but there was a lot of scurrying around. People were forming or joining groups i.e yolanda and there was a lot of storytelling people felt the need to really tell their stories which once again is quite typical of every big brother season you know the moment nomination is over people will start telling their stories people will start doing the most people will start um getting more emotional or even going as far as showing their like showing a very high level of sensitivity you know either to re um, give reactions or to provoke reactions either of their fellow housemates or us, the viewers. Yes. And there's going to be a lot of investments, you know, in people's emotional banks. Once again, either of the fellow housemates or us, the viewers. But we know that most of the time when things like these happen, it is uh, these housemates trying to provoke us, the viewers, into action, you know, to vote for them. So there was a lot of that happening last night. And Mpomi had a lot to say. Because, guys, the camera was literally giving us, like, a wide-angle view of what was happening in the house. So there was Yolanda, there was um, Young Papi, at some point there was Mitch. There were people gathered upstairs, there were people gathered in the room downstairs, there were people working in the lounge, and there were people outside in the garden, you know, who were just talking and expressing and giving off information. Some people were trying to play the pity card a bit. And Pomi noticed all of these things. And she had a lot to <laughs> say to Pale. So she was telling Pale that now it's very obvious that people have actually formed their own factions in the house. People have actually found their own people in the house because it becomes quite awkward and weird when people are having conversations and you walk into that space, either a room or their circle. And before you know it, there's an awkward silence that follows. Before you know it, they begin to try to change the topic of conversation. And it seems like they are not comfortable when you are there. They make it seem like you are interrupting. And ladies and gentlemen, she was not wrong. I'm slowly starting to see the people I generally be can't talk to and fuck with and the people yeah, that I, I mean, like it has come to my attention that 
people are already getting used to each other to a point where they're already they're forming like, a circle. Mm -hmm. In the midst of all she was saying, you could tell that there were maybe one or two persons that have actually given her that sort of energy and she just could not keep it to herself. Now, she had also mentioned that there were those group of persons as well in the house who only talk to you when they need you to pass on something to them, probably in the kitchen or maybe in the bathroom or anywhere else. But it's, it seems like they're not comfortable enough to have a personal one-on-one -on -one conversation with you, not to even talk of having a conversation with you in a gathering. Yes. So guys, when she was saying all of these things, I, as I said before, I could tell that there may, may be one or two persons that had actually rubbed off wrongly on her. But on the other hand, I was blaming her. Because guys, I have my own observations. And if there's one thing I've noticed, it's the fact that the likes of Els, the likes of Mpumi, the likes of Mali, the likes of Mac Jr. have not been really conversational with everybody in the house. I know that it's still quite early for everybody to be talking to everybody, but there are some people that have made that effort to be everywhere, i.e. Um, young Papi, i.e. Papa Ghost. But these people that I mentioned earlier, they've been kind of in their own space, you know, in their own shell. And it's quite understandable that they're also trying to observe and you know, also check out people that they can easily gravitate towards. But Mbumi has not been particularly out there. Now she cooks in the kitchen, you know, from time to time. I think she's cooked maybe once or twice. Yes. But she's not particularly the most outgoing housemate. So while she was expressing and forgetting her emotions to Pale, I was wishing that she herself would do more, step out of her comfort zone and, you know, go out there, be adventurous, get to know people and get into people's heads, right? Because even the Pale that she was speaking to or sharing with, Pale has been moving around, having conversations with people and already she's found her people as well in the house. Now, last night, and already she's found her people in the house. Now, fast forward to an hour later or thereabout, when the truth or their game started, um, she had actually expressed how she felt um, Z was behaving towards her. And Z did not find it funny. Yeah, Z did not like it at all. And so the mood had changed. Even young Papi, during the truth or dare game, he had been asked or dared, you know, to do a lot of things. He had been asked to tell a lot of truths about cheating, about what not, what not. He had even been dared to kiss someone. And it did not sit well with him because this guy had actually said that he has a relationship outside the house. Now, the whole thing dragged. Mood was sort of down with these two people. So they had left. They'd left to their room and there a conversation ensued. And these two people had analyzed the whole truth or their game thingy, thingy, thingy. And they had come to the conclusion that people use that game to provoke people into giving a certain form of reaction. People use that game to try to fish out information from people. And guys, they are not wrong. I wish I wish I didn't play. I wish I'm saying, bro. There's certain stuff. There's certain stuff I don't want to hear. I mean, you can feel that way, but I, I just prefer not to. Say it. Frankly speaking, they were not wrong. Everything they were saying was a fact. Because guys, remember, this is a show, but there's also a game within the show to be played. And these housemates did not come to sing Kumbaya in Big Brother's house. Yes, so they were actually right. But it was kind of funny to me because I was wondering, like, okay, bro, girl, what were you expecting? And people will come to this house and they would not play truth or dare. People will definitely play truth or dare. That is what the game is. Truth or dare. They want to know your limits. They want to see what you are capable of doing in front of cameras. They want to see how daring you are. And they want to learn one or two truths about you. So what do you think is happening in Big Brother's house? But then she also went ahead to express how bad it made her feel that Mpumi said what she said because according to her she felt like they were good but ladies and gentlemen come on we know that z is not particularly that one housemate 
that would open up and have conversations with certain people yet i mean from what we've seen this past day and night or nights yes um she and bumi have not like specifically had very close conversations and then sina Ye had joined them and had asked if she was okay and she had also gone ahead to express you know her emotions the way it made her feel and then there was also papa ghost who had also joined the conversations we were literally analyzing and analyzing and i kind of enjoyed their analysis right and it made me you know see that for real we have people that actually have their head in the game we have people that are actually calculating which is very much needed in big brother's house you know what's funny whilst that conversation was happening on the show on social media there was a bit of a fan war yeah between people supporting Mpumi and between people who felt like Z was being a mean girl that oh why is she complaining about it why is she going on and on about it and I'm like well that is how she feels Mpumi's expression you know made her feel a certain way and she has to purgate it remember we've all always said that in big brother's house where there's no purgation of emotion where there's no expressiveness if everything is held up in there bottled up in there that there will definitely be an implosion yeah so if there is no mild explosion there will definitely be an implosion and it's gonna affect the mental health of these housemates yeah so I, it just made me it made me laugh how people were just upset that Z was talking about it. I'm like, why Why can't she talk about it? And put me earlier and actually, you know, forgetting her own emotions to Pale. And she had another person as an audience as well. There was also Papa Ghost. So what is wrong if Z talks about it? Is it because she's, she was, you know, she really expressed how sad she was? Anyways, guys, uh, my eyes are on these two ladies, yes, because I sense some sort of rivalry between both of them. So, fingers crossed, I'm going to be watching them. I'm going to see if they're going to have any conversation later on today or if Z and even Impumi herself will make any effort to cement or maybe build a connection in Big Brother's house. Guys, what do you think? Please go ahead, let me know in the comment section below and I'll see you all on another episode of Frankly Speaking with Gloria Elijah. There are other things to say I will share on another video soon. Have an amazing day. Bye.